Hello! Long time no see. This is just a video for the new year. It's something that I wanted to do for a few days. I've not really had chance because, drum roll please everybody, I've released a book. Yes. <laughs> it's a Python programming book. It's, it's an absolute basic tutorial. That is the... Uh, it's a conversation piece. It's a, it's a kind of book that's not meant to scare you. It's not meant to throw too much techno babble at you. It's a, it's something that's meant to help you get to grips, not only with the idea of programming, but how programming should be performed in the most intricate form. It's, it's all very well, all these fantastic texts, and they are some very good texts out there, apart from mine, that go to infinite detail about how to get a piece of programming done. Not many of them actually pick you up from the bootstraps anymore. In this digital world that we live in, you're watching the internet right now. You're using hundreds of millions of lines of code just to watch me talk to you. People forget that you might not know how to make A equal B or how to put a value in something. They just absolutely forget this absolutely basic tenant. So I picked the, pro the Python programming language. Why did I pick Python? Because it's a scripted language primarily, um, it's actually quite easy to get hold of. Um, installs on Mac, on Linux, on Windows, and you can get jobs out there that use Python a lot, that, that are very interested in it. You could do your schoolwork in it, you can do your home accounts in it, you could learn how to program it in this manner. And it lends itself quite easily to think. It's a Turing complete language, it, um, you know, it will do all the mathematics and requirements that you need. It's very useful. Uh, beyond the scope of my book, it does fantastic networking, fantastic web work. It's a great way of crawling through the net and collecting information and processing other people's data. People, though, try to run before they can walk. And when you try and run before you can walk with programming, you often can lose heart. You can often lose in com your confidence and you don't know quite where you're going with it anymore. My text aims to deal with that. So... Let's start from the beginning. What is my book about? Well, my book is about programming. And programming, originally, of being a computer, rather, was done by people. There used to be banks full of people sitting there, uh, row upon row, seat upon seat, doing calculations every day. And then these electronic monstrosities came along and made everybody redundant because they could do it quicker and these can do it faster than any human could. Now, depending on how they're instructed, they can do it more accurately too. Doing it accurately, though, requires good programming. And I am in that situation where I learned to program a long time ago. I learned to program when I'll believe, I'll say it was a challenge. You had to know about the processor. You had to know about, you know, every, every little detail of the machine in order to get it to do anything. And you'd write code for one machine and it wouldn't work on the other. Python doesn't suffer from that. The same script that you write on Windows will run on Linux. The same script that runs on Linux and Windows will run on your Mac. That's very useful. So the first thing I talk about in my book is assigning a value to a name. Well, those names are called variables. We could think of them like a piece of paper. This is a space in memory, space in our computer memory. And we could write a value on this. There, we've got a value in our piece of memory. And we could print this value out. There it is printed out as well. That's the great thing of paper. So how might we do that in code? Well, we've got Python running here in the background. So if I go something equals 10, that's it. That's as simple as how to assign a value in Python. Something now equals 10. And if I do print, okay, print, open bracket, something, close bracket, you can't see the close bracket, it's just gone off the screen, it prints 10 out for us. That's the absolute essence of programming for me. The moment you can do that, that's more useful than hello world in my opinion, because this has told you, you can print something out, you can assign something. Now, the name something is completely arbitrary. I could have called it Arthur equals 10 print Arthur now Arthur equals 10 something equals 10 and Arthur equals 10 and you've got that in memory and if you want to write over it so I've got props and everything here today folks 
you can write another value over the top. So something equals 42. And now we can print something. It's 42. And, and the, this is how the book builds things up. So if I then do uh, another thing, so if I go uh, x equals something plus Arthur, and uh, I assure you, that's what we've got, x equals something plus Arthur, and then I go print x, it's 52. 42 plus 10 is 52. Uh, we can do subtraction with a minus sign. So we can go um, x equals, sorry, x minus 3. Print x. And it's got off the screen for you guys, but x is no longer uh, 52. It's 49 because we took 3 off it. These are the, the, the building blocks of, of programming. They are often ignored by many, many scripts. They sort of spend 5 seconds on it. I spend a whole chapter. This is chapter one, essentially, of my book for you to pick up. Links will be below. I'll have other links here and everything for you guys. It's released on the 1st of January, and it's exactly this kind of thing. It's absolutely basic. It is starting with the script exactly as you see here in, in black and white. It, it's very simple. It runs with Mac. It runs with Windows. It runs with Linux. And it gets you thinking. We cover text, we cover input, we cover libraries, we cover errors or, or exceptions. We cover all the logic statements, things like if and 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 when and for the, the, the loops. Uh, we cover things special to Python, things like the in operator. So for each character in a string, you can do an operation. We cover those. Uh, and then the final thing we end up with is, is to basic file handling. Absolutely, taking this information to and from disk so that you can do some processing yourself. You can store your address book. You can store a class register or your shopping list or something you want to do. You can, of course, do all these operations nowadays with someone else's code, with someone else's program, like Excel. That could do your home accounts for you. But it'd be a bit of an achievement if you wrote your own little program to print out your account. That's where I leave this, folks. It's up to you whether you want to go and have a look. It's for pre-order now. I know the confirmed price in the US is $4.60. In the United Kingdom, I believe it's £3.99. It's currently only in ebook format. Um, but I'm working on the print edition. I have to tweak a few things for the print edition uh, for legal requirements. All the code is presented in the book directly in line with you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, like and subscribe, let me know. Bye.